fan of students, welcome to another daily devotion. Um, here again, 1 Corinthians chapter 9 is our text for the day. I am Pastor Jesse. Thank you so much for joining us. Here we go. Um, we're going straight out of yesterday's text where he was talking about um, the freedom to eat. Um, but making sure that he's not putting his freedoms before people. Um, and then we're going into this. Um, verse 1, am I not free? Am I not an apostle? So here's the thing. Um, from what we're reading today, it's clear that there were people running around saying that Paul wasn't a real apostle because he wasn't one of the original 12 or the one of the original 11. And so um, he's counter that countering that argument with his own have i not seen jesus our lord so for those of you who didn't know paul actually saw jesus are you not my work in the lord if i am not an apostle to others at least i'm an apostle to you because you are the seal of my apostleship in the lord in other words um, you're the proof in the pudding people um, the work that i did in corinth uh, you're the proof that I'm an apostle. My defense to those who examine me is this. Uh, don't we have the right to eat and drink? Uh, don't we have the right to be accompanied by a believing wife like the other apostles, uh, the Lord's brother, and Cephas? So uh, apostles have the right to be married. Um, and it says that Cephas, Peter, had a wife. Uh, which we know that also from the gospel texts, uh, but also that at least some of the other apostles had wives and the Lord's brothers. So like guys like James had a wife. I don't know that James for sure had a wife. I just know that somebody in the position like that being Jesus's uh, half brother. Or do only Barnabas and I have no right to refrain from working? He's going to go into this argument about how uh, some of the apostles, they live off the gospel in the sense that uh, through tithes and offerings, stuff like that, um, that people give to uh, take care of their needs. And Paul is saying that that's not how him and Barnabas are living, that nobody gives them anything. In verse 7, who serves as a soldier at his own expense? Who plants a vineyard and does not eat its fruit? So if you join the army, you get a pension or a salary from the army. Um, if you're a farmer, you get to eat your own fruit, sell off what you don't, right, what you don't eat. Uh, or who shepherds a flock and does not drink the milk from the flock? Am I saying this from a human perspective? Doesn't the law say the same thing? For it is written in the law of Moses, do not muzzle a lot, an ox while it is, treads out the grain. Is God really concerned about oxen? Isn't he really saying it for our sake? Yes, as this is written for our sake, because he who plows ought to plow in hope that he who threshes should thresh in the hope of sharing in the crop. If we have sown spiritual things for you, is it too much if we reap material benefits from you? So as we look at this, like you could say, and Paul is making the argument here, that people who um, are pastors, apostles, are people who are in full-time ministry, have the right, uh, it, it, this is a right, um, you know, a lot of times people want to talk about the rights um, God has commanded, uh, according to Paul, he, he's quoting uh, and saying that the law actually says the same thing, that you need to provide for people who do the work. So priests uh, in the Old Testament got paid, priests in the New Testament should be paid when they are doing it full time. That is, that is their uh, work. And so, uh, you know, guys like Pastor Dan um, and I, um, we um, both uh, are doing this, this same type of thing um, that the other apostles are doing. We're teaching the Gospels. We're providing um, teaching material. We're doing the daily dev devotions. Um, we're discipling people. Um, we're proclaiming the Gospel. And therefore according to Paul um, and the law um, of the in the Old Testament. God um, has provided us the right to reap um, a material blessing, in other words, to be paid for our work. 
Uh, this doesn't give us the right to abuse that either, though. Um, nevertheless, we have made no use of this right. Instead, we endure everything so that we will not hinder the gospel of Christ. Paul is saying that him and Barnabas um, have chosen not to get paid um, so that they can not hinder the gospel of Christ. What does he mean by that? Like, does getting paid by the people you're preached to, does that hinder the gospel of Christ? No, what he's saying is that he can get to more people if he doesn't ask for an offering every time. That's all he's trying to say. Uh, don't you know that those who perform in the temple services eat the food from the temple, and those who serve at the altar share in the offerings at the altar? In the same way, the Lord has commanded that those who preach the gospel should earn their living by the gospel. Uh, Dan and I should be able to be paid, um, should, should have our living provided for from the preaching of the gospel. Um, for my part, I have used none of these rights, nor have I written that these things that they may be applied in my case, for it would be better for me to die than for anyone to deprive me of my boast. For if I preach the gospel, I have no reason to boast, because I am compelled to preach, and woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. For if I do this willingly, I have a reward, but if unwillingly, I am entrusted with the commission. So Paul here is saying that he gets a reward because he chooses to provide uh, the gospel free of charge, um, and not that he would be charging like admission or anything like that, but that <clears throat> like tithes and offerings and stuff like that. He doesn't have to take an offering. He doesn't have to rely on people to provide for him because he's working, um, he's providing for himself. Now, there's a significant amount of evidence that would say he didn't do this everywhere, um, but that he did do this quite a bit. What then is my reward? To preach the gospel and offer it free of charge and not make full use of my rights in the gospel. Um, so we know um, Paul was not married. We know that he, um, for the most part, worked quite a, quite a bit so that he could provide, um, pay for everything on his own so that he didn't have to burden the people so that they're not distracted and they can just receive the gospel free of charge. Although I am free from all and not any one slave, I have made myself a slave to everyone in order to win more people. So Paul's mindset, first and foremost, is no matter what I have to do in order to make sure more people get saved, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, to the Jews, it became like a Jew to win the Jews, and to those under the law, like one under the law, though I myself am not under the law, to win those under the law. To those who are without the law, like one without the law, though I am not without God's law, but under the law of Christ, to win those without the law. So to Jews or Gentiles, either way, I want everybody to be saved. To the weak, I become weak in order to win the weak. I have become all things to all people, so that I might by every possible means save some. Listen, um, his motivation is to save some. As many as he can, he wants to save. Um, this, this also goes along well with the uh, concept of predestination. Like, not everyone will be saved, even though everybody has the opportunity or the, the payment for everyone has been paid. Now I do all this because of the gospel, so that I may share in its blessings. Don't you know that the runners in a stadium all race, but one receives the prize? Run in such a way to receive the prize, and everyone who competes exercises self-control in everything. And they do it to receive a perishable crown, but we an imperishable crown. So I do not run like one who runs aimlessly, or box like one who beats the air. Instead, I discipline my body and bring it under strict control, so that after preaching to others, I myself will not be disqualified. Um, here we see um, Paul is making the argument that even though I have a right to being provided for by the people I am ministering to, and you could say Dan and I also have the right uh, to be provided for by the people that we're ministering to, um, that <clears throat> like in Dan's case, uh, Dan works at Aldi full time, so that he can provide his ministry um, so that he can have that blessing that Paul was talking about. Uh, I raise half of my income from people outside of the church. And so um, 
you know, other people are basically contributing, donating because they see the, the gospel. And so I'm actually experiencing the right that is mentioned here because other people are providing for us um, because of the preaching of the gospel. So praise the Lord for that. Um, but also praise the Lord for guys like Dan who work a full-time job to make sure that they can provide their services free of charge for people. Um, a lot of people in, that come to our church um, struggle financially, and so we have the ability to, whether they have the money for it or not, to provide, um, to serve, and to be like Christ. And so um, if you have any questions or comments, um, I'd love to, to discuss those things. That concludes today. Uh, I, I just want to end with this, this thought um, to, to make sure you, you control yourself. Uh, you don't want to disqualify qualify yourself um, just because uh, you can't control your flesh. And Paul makes a big point to say, like, look, I've got all these rights, uh, but I control myself so that I don't disqualify myself. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Click the little bell and you'll be notified whenever one of our wonderful videos is available, like tomorrow. Uh, also, don't forget, you uh, can share these videos, comment on these videos, participate as much as you possibly can. We love it when you guys do. And also, you can um, partner with us. Uh, you can do, um, you know, provide for us through the, like, like he was talking about here. Uh, if you want, you can do that through uh, making a donation um, through the tax deductible link listed in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us today. Peace out, Girl Scout.